Today we're covering everything you guys need to know about using a 5-in-1 reflector. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today we're going to show you guys how to use a 5-in-1 reflector. Now these things are incredibly useful. You can use them outdoors and if you guys don't have any lights, don't worry about it. You can use a 5-in-1 reflector to make it look like you do have lights. Now we've actually got a 5-in-1 reflector if Kelsey brings it up right <laughs> over there. We've got one pointing up. Go ahead and pull that down, Kelsey. And you guys can see the light on both me and Lauren is now like pretty harsh from this side. Basically all she's got is this, if you take off the cover, you've got what's on the inside is a little bit of a, it's a translucent surface. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna kill the amount of light that comes through by either like one stop or two stops, depending on your 501 reflector. Gussie, can you go ahead and put it back up? There we go, and now we look a lot better. <laughs> you can use the exact same principle with photography. So if you've got like a side light, a duck just landed in that pond. What great news. <laughs> so if you've got like a harsh side light that's kind of coming in, you can take this off and just like hold this between the light source, which in most cases is gonna be your sun and your subject. So that is one of these reflectors. Now it's called a 501 reflector because that's one side. You also have a silver side. The silver side is really great for if you wanna reflect light back. Kelsey, can you go ahead and lower that? There we go. And now I'm gonna use this to reflect light back to us. Is that working? So now you can see like here's without it and then the light's gonna come right back up over top of it. We've also got some shots that I just took of Lauren. We're gonna show you guys the before and the, Kelsey, would you mind? It also makes it quite a bit cooler if you're in the shade. So we'll show you guys the shots before and after, basically using this silver side to reflect the sun and then without the silver side. It, this is something, these are really, really inexpensive. We're gonna to link to them right below so you guys can pick up one of your own. But if you guys are just starting out, you're wanting to use lighting, you're getting a little bit more creative, just pick one of these up and you can do quite a bit with it. There are a lot of accomplished photographers who use nothing more than one of these guys. So you have your silver side on this, which is gonna reflect a lot of light. The next side you have is your gold side, which is basically gonna reflect the same amount of light. It's gonna warm it up a little bit. So if you're shooting something like at sunset and you want that warm color to come through, use your gold side. Now on the inside, we have a white, which is basically gonna do the same thing as the silver. It's just gonna be a little bit less harsh. So if you're reflecting too much light on your subject, the white is what you're gonna wanna use. And then you have a black, and this is actually going to take some of the light away from your subject. So you can put this with the black side right next to your subject, and it's gonna suck some of that light in and make their shadows a little bit harsher. So you're gonna use those things for some creative effects. So basically what we're gonna do, we've got some shots you know, here taken with a willow tree. We're gonna go around this garden and we're gonna use two five-in-one reflectors. We're gonna produce a lot of different looks using just these guys. So simple to use, so easy. You can see what you get while you're shooting. That makes it the easiest thing in the world to use. They're a lot of fun, they're super cheap, and they're gonna make a big difference in your photography. Cool, today we're covering everything you guys need to know about using a five-in-one reflector. Sorry for that. <laughs> Dang planes, cool. For more information on this episode, go to flurn.com. While you're there, be sure to check out our pro tutorials. These are the most in-depth Photoshop tutorials available on the internet. If you want one for free, just sign up for our newsletter following the link right down below and it'll be delivered to you instantly. We also feature exclusive interviews, written contents, inspiration from people like you as well as professional photographers. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.